The Houston Rockets have come to terms with restricted free agent K.J. McDaniels on a three-year deal. It's worth $10 million. I am Jim Basquell. The Rockets have now come to terms with both of their restricted free agents. That includes Patrick Beverly. Let's bring in Calvin Watkins, who covers the Rockets for ESPN. And Calvin, they give him $10 million. He was an interesting player because he got traded in his rookie season from the Sixers to the Rockets and had an opportunity after just one year in the league to become a free agent. He cashed into the tune of $10 million. But how do the Rockets view him long term in terms of what kind of player he ultimately can be? They like his athleticism. They like the fact that he's a young player uh, that could, that fits well into the offense. As you know, Rockets have you know up tempo offense with not a lot of sets of being run, and that's what KJ does. Uh, you know, he finish at the cup, something you want to see out of a swing man like KJ McDaniel's. Now, he, is he going to be a starter this year? No, he's not going to be a starter. He's a guy who can definitely play off, come off the bench, help out with Corey Brewer with that second unit and produce some points for the Rockets' offense. Hey, Calvin, as you well know, the Western Conference is awfully stacked. That includes the defending champion Warriors. And the Rockets just need to compete at the highest level in terms of their, their offseason, characterize that offseason in terms of what they've done and maybe what's left to do. They haven't done a whole lot because they didn't have a lot of money to play with in, in, you know, in free agency. They did try to get LaMarcus Aldridge. They didn't, they didn't have to clear up a lot of cap space, including getting rid of Trevor Ariza's $8 million to, to make it happen. So what the Rockets decided to do was say, hey, you know what? We're like K.J. McDaniel. We're going to bring him back. We're going to re-sign Corey Brewer. We're going to bring him back. Uh, you know, Patrick Beverly, who was one of the better defensive point guards in the NBA, they felt like it was vital. Yeah, they felt like it was vital to bring him back. Now, Josh Smith was another guy who was influential in the playoffs for the Rockets and even in the late parts of the regular season, they decided not to bring him back, which was kind of surprising. But they figured, you know what, he's not going to get a lot of playing time. So what the Rockets decided to do is, hey, we got James Harden. Hey, he's all he was fantastic last year. Hey, we got Dwight Howard, one of the better centers in the game. We got our team. We didn't get Lamarcus Aldridge. It's not a big deal, but we got a good core and we can compete in the West. And that's what they've decided to do. Calvin Watkins covers the Houston Rockets for ESPN. Calvin, thanks for some insight. Thank you. Take care. Again, K.J. McDaniels traded from the Sixers to the Rockets in his rookie season last year, stays in Houston to the tune of a three-year, $10 million deal. You can read more about this story and keep up with the latest NBA news by keeping it locked on the NBA page right here on ESPN.com. I'm Jim Basquale.